On May 10th, 1940, Nazi Germany forces invaded the Netherlands, overtaking the country in five days. On bombing raids, the German Luftwaffe dropped over 97 tons of explosives on the city of Rotterdam, forcing the Dutch to surrender. During the subsequent Nazi occupation, over 100,000 Dutch Jews would be rounded up and taken to concentration camps. Few would survive. In the face of these horrors, and at the threat of losing their own liberty, an elderly father and his two daughters risk everything to save the lives of these persecuted people. This is their true story, based on the testimony of the trio's only survivor. The youngest of four children, Corrie ten Boom, was born in the Netherlands in 1892 to Casper and Cornelia, both dedicated Christians. Casper ten Boom, or Harlem's Grand Old Man as he was known, was a devoted father and husband and a man of high moral character, very much respected by the local community. This is the city of Haarlem, located in the Netherlands. It's the capital of the province of North Holland. This is also the city where Corrie ten Boom grew up. In fact, we're standing in front of her house. And it's a typical Dutch house. It's tall and narrow. The bottom floor served as a watch shop that was the family-run business. And the floors above served as living quarters. The Tambooms were a very dedicated Christian family with their values and norms firmly rooted in the Bible. Father read every day from the Bible and they had prayer. And they also uh, had varying translations of the Bible which they shared together, French, German. Somebody even had a Hebrew one, I think. And the Bible was strongly a part of their life and they lived by it. 